let's take a look at Team Talk. This is the Team Talk treatment, which basically is a document that explains what Team Talk is and how to go about producing a Team Talk. Team Talk is a one hour weekly radio show produced by Valley Teens through the Matsu School District Media Program and airs on KVRF 89.5, although they just moved to 89.7, uh, Radio Free Palmer, they call themselves, every Friday night at 9 p.m. It is a magazine format show made up of regular segments and special segments where we feature local, national, world news, but news that is relevant and interesting to teens, roundtable discussions on the selected topics and uh, news stories, information, music, and other reviews. Each segment is pre-produced individually and is from a variety of schools and classes. Discussions by teens hash out ideas and opinions, analyze issues, and offer a window to how Valley teens see the world around them. Which means when you make discussion, when you have discussions about the topics in Teen Talk, you need to have a valid opinion, something that's informed, something that you've researched. And uh, uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But let's first talk about what this magazine style format means. Magazine format um, is like a magazine that you buy in the store. There may be different sections, like a newspaper. Um, so starting out with harder news, moving into the lighter stuff. So Teen Talk will be produced weekly in three acts. Act 1 will begin on a more serious or newsy tone. Discussions will follow on a main theme, typically relating to a headline story from the opening news segment. Uh, Act 2 will consist of shorter regular segments like calendar, sports, and arts. Act 3 is a, more open to special segments and is typically lighter in tone and includes special reports, coverage of events, reviews, interviews, and discussions, and often filled with music. A weekly music director will present a curated list of music inspired by the week's theme that separates the show's acts and may produce their own segment with an Act 3, highlighting a particular artist, musical event, or the genre. So let's take a look at the uh, pie chart here. Typically it's about a 33% um, for each segment, but often uh, you know, Act 1 may go a little bit long, Act 2 might bleed into Act 3 a little bit, and there uh, may not be as much time left for Act 3, uh, or sometimes we don't have any special segments, so we'll fill that with music. So let's take a look at the acts. Act 1, news. We typically come with a thematic topic. Um, the theme can be very broad, but we'll select stories that have to do somehow with that theme. All right. The show opens up with about a one minute introduction and um, it includes theme music, uh, a scripted opening uh, typically done by the main show host and it includes a pre-recorded clip and a live clip that introduces the week's topic. Let's take a listen to what one might sound like. This is Teen Talk. Coming up this week on Teen Talk, we have What's Up with Tay and the News Crew, Calendar with Michael, Sports with Aaron and Tim, Music with Christian, and more. Teen Talk is the Valley Teen Forum for the Valley Teen Voice and is produced by the Matsu School's Career and Tech Media Programs and the Colony High Media Studios. Headlines this week include Teen Talk on Teen Talk, U.S. News and World Report ranked the Valley Schools, Profiles of Performance Excellence, The Northern Sound, and the KKK Not A-OK. -okay. Hey everybody and welcome to Teen Talk and this is Senior Week. I'm your host Tay and I'm joined by Will, Michael, and Tucker for What's Up with Tay and the News Group. Why'd you start with Will, Taya? I'm first on the script. Because Will's well, okay. first on the script. That works, I guess. Oh, well. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's not like I've been, you know, doing lots of Teen Talk stuff over the past couple Will of months. Will is the Teen Talk grandpa. He's the, he's the Teen Talk grandpa, hey, yeah. Hi, Will. I love you, buddy. It's good, good to see you on Teen Talk again. Yeah. So you guys excited yeah. that it's our last week? Oh, I'm not really. I'm actually sad. I'm trying to hold back really sad tears right now. Oh, don't be that way, Michael. I'm not going to be that way. Don't worry. I'm actually really happy. 
Yay. 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 Actually, Anyways, we should probably look. get started with our first story, right? Probably. I probably, guess, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah probably, go ahead. Yeah. Alrighty. So, this is Teen Talk, obviously. Okay, so we'll stop right there, and they get into the news story. This, Since this was the uh, final episode of Seniors, they were uh, moving right along into um, uh, kind of a special goodbye. But you notice in this introduction, which went a little bit longer than one minute, there was a music background. It would play a little music, then it would dip down, or we would call duck below, whenever someone would speak, and then it'd go back up, play for a few seconds, and then it'd go back down um, again, duck a little bit, and go back up. And um, this is all done in post, meaning we add the music after the fact in editing, which we'll learn um, how to do a little bit later in another video. That theme music is always the same, and the format in the beginning is always the same. We have a few words that we always say, and then we have to come up with some kind of uh, preview of the stories that are happening, so she'll include that as well. Often a little introductory uh, banter between the host and the uh, other people in the room. We'll typically have at least three people in the room talking, and they will be the voice throughout Act 1, or the voices throughout Act 1. So the news and headlines is about 15 to 20 minutes long. We typically have about four selected headlines of stories of interest, possibly up to six, but usually after discussion, four is enough to fill the time. The show host and the reporters, the other people in the room, take turns reading each headline. Uh, story Top story establishes the theme and the discussion topics. Sometimes the host might read the stories, depending on who else is in the room and who has actually contributed the stories that were um, that are in the uh, rundown. So we might uh, look at local, state, national, world, but we really want to push an emphasis on local or big issues of the day, things that might be relevant to teens. Um, news issues, technology, sports, well, you know, when the news is big. But we should be picking stories of interest to you and to your peers. It doesn't have to be hard news. What's happening in Iran and Iraq or what's happening with the presidential race, uh, unless it's something that you're interested in and there's, there's an angle that you would like to report on. So often... Our news, even our hard news, is, is a little bit fun. Um, so you have some freedom there on what to pick. Uh, the only thing is, is we ask that we try to try to keep it to some sort of, of theme. All right, so that includes headlines, and with each headline we read, uh, we'll read uh, the story. The story is usually a um, summary of some story that we found out on uh, other news sources, and then we will have a, a short discussion off of each story there, maybe a couple minutes uh, per story, and then when we're done, we'll we'll wrap up everything at the end of news. The roundtable discussions after each news stories are in-depth discussions of the topic, story, and theme. Now, sometimes we might talk about one particular story a little bit more in depth, or sometimes we'll spend a little bit more time on each story. It just kind of depends on the meat of the story and and the interest level. Uh, we should finish with a transition to the music director who will play one more song to match that the theme. The music director will explain the song or the song choice that they have. So we allocate about five minutes to that. When we get to Act 2, the regular segments, um, we will have a calendar segment, which is usually pretty short. Uh, it, too, has its own theme music that will open it up, and it has a calendar host, which... Uh, 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 kind of can create their own voice. Mostly it's just a listing of what's coming up in the valley for our listeners, but it can include a few comments here and there. Uh, we try to focus on high school events such as sports, drama, concerts, ROTC, or other um, events that are open to the public, or major events for clubs or student organizations that are pretty much not in school events. Um, now, this is a Valley show. It is not a Colony High School um, radio show, per se. So we try to report on all of the schools here in the Valley. We'll also uh, report on any community events that could be of interest to teens or their families, such as festivals, celebrations, races, fundraising events, dances, concerts, workshops, etc. Um, and even a listings of local movie times. And then if there's time and inclination, we can go into any 
professional sports, uh, typically we just hit things like playoffs, Super Bowls, Olympics, things like that. Let's listen to a calendar section. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michael Everett. This is Teen Talk Calendar, and here's what's happening near you this week for the last time. Events in the Valley include the Valley Performing Arts production of The Fantastics this Saturday at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 2 p.m. Also this week, a Sousa Spectacular going on at the Glen Massey Theater this Sunday at 4 p.m. And finally, for events, we have the Out of Darkness Walk going on this Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Downtown Palmer Pavilion. Movies coming out this week include the superhero movie sequel, Captain America Civil War, the drama A Bigger Splash, another drama The Family. All right, and I think you might get an idea from that one. Uh, after the calendar section, we'll have another song by our music director. And of course, they should always give attribution to the song, who played it, and, and what the song name is. Then we'll go into our sports section. And um, the sports headlines uh, work very much like the um, uh, news headlines. Let's listen to one of the sports headlines. All right, welcome back to Teen Talk. I'm Aaron here with uh, Tim. We're doing some sports for you. Hello. All right, so to kick us off here, we got some uh, football stuff from uh, Colony High here. Uh, uh, schools wrapping up here uh, in the Valley. Uh, a couple of seniors are going down to the lower 48 to perform in the great American game that is football. All right, so we'll stop there. It gives you a little bit of an idea of what that might sound like. Let's find our template. And the sports will um, have one or two stories, typically, and uh, some discussion on it. The stories can be local or they can be pro sports. Uh, we really do try to hit local as much as we can. There are some great stories using the ASAA 360. 365.org um, website, and um, then we'll hit uh, separate calendar items just for sports, such as upcoming games and dates, uh, any short comics that you would like to add, and it's really okay if we're repeating some information here from the calendar. After that, we do have a music segment, which can fall into Act 2 or 3, and that should be 5 to 15 minutes, and this is where the music director comes on, and they highlight the main theme or the artist that they're playing. Sometimes it might be um, a selection of artists on a particular theme or um, topic that they, they pick their songs, or it might be one artist or band that they uh, highlight and they play only their music throughout the, uh, the show. We can use any music we want because we are airing this on a radio station that already pays for the royalties. The music segment must offer some information that is not common knowledge, meaning you can't pull it out of your butt. You have to do a little bit of research, find some information, some background information, some related news based on your art, artist, or your theme. Research the band websites. Uh, go to Wikipedia, even Pandora, uh, and other sites like that. Have great bios of these artists. Include talk, perhaps a short discussion, music samples. Um, often if it's a new uh, album that's out, you may go through the album and play 10 or 15 seconds of you know a selection of six or seven songs, talking about each one, um, how they move the, the album, how, how the artist is changing and growing. Uh, of course, that would you know want to be something that you're pretty familiar with. So, so choose music that you know and you like. You can transition out with a song, but the music director chooses and supports Applies all the music for the show and um, must be in an mp3 format and we'll we'll go over how all that works act three special segments um, there's all sorts of different special segments and we can start developing some of our own the list below here is just a sample of segments we can do one sample might be countdown it's a long-range look at anticipated events like christmas graduation super bowl or other interesting event or holiday it's whimsical and fun in tone and it's it's not necessarily something in the calendar it might even be something that only takes a, a minute or so um to record you might do a book movie play concert or game review or if you're doing that kind of thing in another class or other people are you could read record um, 
uh, appear doing a, a movie review, but we're looking for a critical analysis, a discussion, but no spoilers, please. Uh, we've had a lot of fun with doing an advice segment um, where people ask questions and then we come up with advice. Um, they're basically, quote, questions from the listening audience, but sometimes we make up our own questions, and that's usually very light and comical. Um, that's the kind of thing that's great for someone who has a lot of personality and wit and uh, uh, can, can come up with things off the cuff. Uh, we might do a special report, story or event coverage, uh, field reporting on any local topic, um, uh, maybe an interview of somebody interesting. You know, it's great just before a school play or a concert or, or big games, maybe the quarterback of uh, uh, just before a homecoming game or something might be a great um, interview. Just just rap with them, talk with them um, for five or ten minutes and record that. It could be investigative on a recent issue or an incident, and sometimes these things come up. And they can be fun. Um, how about on this day in history, or on this day in the 1980s, or on this day last year, or any kind of spin-off on the idea? Um, and a lot of resources can be found on the web for that. Of course, we can do uh, more music, another song from the show theme. Other segment ideas are um, uh, always welcome. And all episodes of Teen Talk should end with the wrap session, and we call it wrap up. And this is something that is recorded after everything else has been recorded because the show needs to end at about 59 minutes and 30 seconds. Now, we do have a little bit of wee leeway, we can end maybe as, as short as 59 minutes long. But the wrap up session is designed that we add up all of the times of all of the segments and the music, and we see how much is left. We subtract that from 59 minutes and 30 seconds, and that may end up anywhere between a minute and a half to maybe even up to five minutes. Um, usually if it's five minutes, we can throw another two-minute song and bring it down to a, a two-minute rap session. We return with the host, the producer, any of the other voices that have been on the show, and we recap the show. We, we review the show and say, hey, today we talked about this and talked about that. Um, any, any last comments, final words on the um, stories that we had? Uh, sometimes we do good things like we might do in a classroom, and um, it makes the show more personable, and it brings the show full circle, ending with the personalities that it began with. And then, of course, we can end with music and credits, and this is a way we can control the show to end exactly at 59 minutes and 30 seconds. So each act is about 20 minutes, but it certainly can vary. Um, the important thing is, is that we do offer some consistency to the radio station. Since this is going out on a viable business, it's not something we can do one week and not the next week. Once we start, we don't finish. So in the next video, I'll talk about the different job descriptions and more detail um, on what people actually have to do for each job.